You know, CMIO, right? The 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 standard for race formula of Singapore. How relevant is it today? You know, Chinese, Malay, Indian. How relevant is it? Classification. The number, the classification. But the thing is, the number of intermarriages, for example, has been increasing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in in in. Um, in what year was it? 2009, 2008, it was 9% mm. of intermarriages, inter-ethnic. Today, it is double the amount. It's almost 19%. Mm. And the number is increasing. We're seeing a lot more couples. So, is there, is there still a case for so much of racialization, not racism, but racialization of Singaporeans, mm. you know, by, by looking at ethnic stereotypes? Even even the the government statements have been made uh, stereotyping different races, people of different races. Uh, the late uh, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew himself has stereotyped people. Uh, when is this going to end? And and I think a lot of Singaporeans today, especially younger generations, we need to go beyond race. Yes. Is it does it always have to be a reality of our psyche? Yeah. Uh, are we ready to start revisiting some of these things? Yeah. And I think some of the members of the audience have questions pertaining to this. But before that, perhaps I just want to get your view about this. Yes. I don't know how and what kind of constructs people have about race and, and society. Yeah. Some, like myself, will have the biblical view of uh, or Quranic view about how society is built. Firstly, we all come from Adam. And therefore, because we come from Adam, we're all the same. It doesn't matter. However, in the same Quran says there are nations and there are people, and there, that means there's diversity. So, firstly, we have to recognize we are the same in many ways, mm. but we are also different in many ways too, and that we have to live with both. And and how do we live with both? So, I give a simple example, like when I see when I ask a Muslim, you know, you have this Chinese man who is maybe a Christian, and a Muslim man who who comes to you, and you have two pieces of bread. And you ask, I ask them, so how do you distribute this bread? Most of them will be the Singapore answer, give one each. Or someone will be the Muslim answer and say, look, you know, the Chinese guy is probably very rich, give it to the Muslim guy, you know. <laughs> now, my answer is, you ask who's hungry. Because it doesn't matter whether you are Chinese, you are Malay, you are Korean, because where welfare is concerned, where opportunities are concerned, this does, should not matter. 